Hey guys, Ben here. Just want to say welcome and thanks for joining me on this brand new video. Today we're playing SimCity Build It, available on Android and iOS for free to play with in-app purchases. And uh, here we are looking at my city and as hard as it may be, to believe I am the mayor of this city. I haven't come up with a good name for it though, so I thought why not let you guys pick a cool name for it. So if you guys can think of a cool name for this city, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to check each and every one and pick one. Uh, also, if you guys uh, enjoy this video, uh, let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Really appreciate all your support and let's go. Right now I'm just... Um, Putting on sale uh, some of the items I manufactured because let me tell you something things get really expensive uh, in this game and if you're playing uh, or planning to play uh, to not make any purchases which means uh, free to play player uh, you gotta make make the coins one way or another so that's what I've been doing uh, it took me about a week to make uh, the 80k you're looking at and uh, the, yes, the more houses you have, the more and the happier your your citizens or your sims are, uh, the higher taxes you get or they pay. But it's still very little compared to the massive amounts you need to uh, acquire to um, to buy a lot of the uh, required buildings or uh, or properties. So right now, I know uh, the city or the citizens are asking for uh, a school and uh, a mean of transportation, a bus station. So we'll go ahead and uh, each one is 40k each. So uh, for a week long, I've been just manufacturing things and selling them on the market to other players, which I think is pretty nice to do. And now I'm just trying to think of uh, how to place the school. You gotta think from a strategical point in which you wanna have the best placement for each building. So for instance, the school, uh, I wanna have it or make it uh, closer to residential buildings. So the green, uh, the green area you're seeing right now is kind of the reach of the building. So it's really too bad that not the whole city isn't is gonna be able to uh, take advantage of the school. So uh, I, I wanna optimally, I wanna have it being, being surrounded by uh, residential buildings from each side. And if you can't tell yet, yes, I am a massive <laughs> fan of SimCity, uh, the series and uh, the Sims. Although I haven't played the, the latest ones in each series, Sims, that will be SimCity 4, I guess, and uh, The Sims uh, 4, because uh, I know I'll just get really uh, stuck in and just, uh, you know, give up on life and everything. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing that at some point later on this year, but uh, not for now. <laughs> And if you aren't familiar with the concept of this game, you basically uh, start from a landscape, an empty landscape, and you gotta uh, build a city from the ground up and, uh, and grow the population uh, as well as keep or maintain uh, your population's uh, happiness. And you do that by providing all the services necessary and also by trading with other players. So there is a lot of strategy into it. So uh, right now I try to make make space, uh, as you saw within the those uh, skyscrapers, but it wasn't enough for the school. So I'm trying to think of a way to uh, make it all work out. So we just skip forward. You guys didn't miss much. I was just trying to. Uh, place or thinking of how to place uh, the school and the buildings around it strategically and as you can see as soon as I move the buildings now I need to uh, create because I moved them away from the reach of the police stations I have already uh, built so I need to build a new po uh, not police station a fire station and that costs cash so you can uh, see how the game flow goes on 
So right now, uh, as, when you see the icons for water, power, etc. in blue, that means it's good. If it's red, it means there's something wrong with that specific area you need to get it fixed. Alright, so right now we're gonna place the bus station. Same thing for as uh, we did with the school. But it's weird how I could place the bus station in a vertical uh, way, but it seems like we can't place the school that way, which is fine, just being a bit nitpicky. <laughs> and citizens, like you see, if we tap, if you tap on the bubbles, like uh, every now and then the buildings will have a, a, a bubble with an image. And that's just like, once you tap on it, you can get to uh, read the opinion of uh, some of the citizens in that particular building. So if they're happy about something, they'll let you know. So here they're unhappy about the traffic, and they'll let us know. So we got to upgrade the road, uh, make it, uh, so far it's a one-way road, we got to make it a two-way road. Because uh, the more buildings you put, uh, or you crowd into one area, the more traffic uh, it would generate and uh, uh, normal, like uh, it makes sense that the roads gotta be bigger. So here we already sold some of the items. So I'm just showing you the process. And uh, the city feels safe now, all right. So I don't have enough cash to upgrade all the roads right now. So that's gonna have to wait. And if you wait too long, <laughs> the citizens get super unhappy and they just leave and then you got an empty building in it there. And that's gonna be it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. Uh, if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. And uh, you can also check out some of my other videos on my channel. And if you haven't yet, I would love to have you subscribe as well. And until next time, keep playing.